Hey there. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitch, where every night I do live streams at 8 p.m. CST, talking to you beautiful little people out there, even the mistakes. Click the link below and give me a follow at the John Burke on Twitch. Enjoy the video. Well, hey there. I'd like to welcome you back to another episode of How to Paint Like a Feminist. Today, we're going to continue on with this masterpiece we have here, and we're going to call this How to Paint Like Trump. So if it's your first time joining us, I'd like to cordially invite you to pull up a fact and scream it from the rooftop and trigger a leftist because they just can't handle those. So let's get started. I'm going to have go ahead and have my uh, handy dandy producer go ahead and run those colors along the bottom of the screen. We have black unemployment. We've got orange, which I think you know where that's going. And we've got red flag law red. That's right. I pulled a little sneaky on you. You weren't expecting that. I'm about to lose a lot of followers. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to get ourselves some, some orange there. I'm going to put it on there nice and thick. We want to have a really, really orange president. That's right. I'm just going to go ahead and fill this in around this, uh, this previously painted masterpiece here. We've got to make the orange man. Because orange man's bad, as we have all been told numerous times by the unbiased social media and press. Ah, there we go. Nice and orange. Makes me think of that one uh, Mother Goose story rhyme. I think it went along the lines of uh, Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall, orange you glad Hillary isn't your president. I think that's it. Whatevs. Orange is such a beautiful color. Especially on the uh, the Clintons there when they wear those orange jumpsuits after they get busted for this, this pedophile ring they're a part of. Wait, what's that over there? Area 51 memes? But what about the, the pedophile? Oh, we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about Area 51 instead. I got it. Moving on. All right, so we're just going to leave some some white around the, the pupils there, the, the eyes, because it needs to look like you were wearing your clown glasses in a tanning bed. That's beautiful. We kind of forgot one color that not a lot of people like to talk about. We need it for the hair, and that's the yellow color. You don't hear it really whining that much or causing a fuss about the fact they were mistreated to in the past and hell, we even built some of the railroads in this wonderful country. Nah, they're just there keeping their neighborhoods clean and being friendly and inventing technology and just being a successful, thriving color. But they can't drive worth a damn. All right, we're gonna go ahead and spread this yellow on there nice and thick. Gotta make sure we have kind of a wave. Oh yeah, nice little wave. A nice yellow wave. Very nice. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Nice yellow wave. There we go. Nice, uh, nice little yellow wave. Happy little yellow wave. Offensive little yellow wave. Kind of reminds me of that blue wave that never really happened. I mean, they said it did because House of Representatives got taken over by blue, but historically speaking, that was actually supposed to happen. So, kind of reminds me of a, a man that pretends to be a woman and competes in a woman's sport and then monkey stomps the brains out of that woman and feminist lesbians out there champion him as a, a hero of the trans community. The reality of it is, it's just a guy that beat the snot out of a woman because sometimes men are just better at being women than women are. And I need to remind you, there's no such thing as chicks with dicks, just guys with tits. I know this because I always question my sexuality every time I open up Pornhub. We're not going to talk about that. Moving on. Yes, yeah, sirry, Bob, how did we need more yellow in this country? Keep their neighborhoods clean, they're friendly, they pay their taxes. I'll tell you what, it almost made me forget about those internment camps during World War II. They put all the Japanese in until the Democrats brought that back up. But it was the Democratic Party that invented racism weird because truth be told if there was no racism you really wouldn't have anything to bitch about okay I'm gonna go ahead and get started with some of this black unemployment there we go so we're gonna go ahead and start bringing this black unemployment straight across just no change just 
straight across the board. Black unemployment just going straight across the board there. No change. All right, now here's the technical part. Pay attention because I'm going to pull a sneaky on you. Here we go. With Trump, we're going to go ahead and be into painting a Trump. We're going to bring it down. Down nice and swift. Just a nice downward plummeting motion. So here we go. Oh, look at that. Just dropping. Just going to pop, lock, and drop it. Just going to drop it like it's hot. That's right. There we go. Oh, nice. Just beautiful right there. Like we always like to say here, there's no such thing as mistakes. Just happy little facts. Moving on. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Just, just plummet that, that black unemployment. Just going to bring it down. There we go. We've got this black unemployment. And I tell you what, Trump is such a racist, such a racist president. But where were black people protesting statues under Obama, who himself was a black president? Didn't say a word. Nobody cared. But suddenly, because this man right here is who you hate, well, now you start caring about these statues. You don't care about statues. It's just that orange man's bad, and you yourself are playing the race card which makes you a disgusting human being. Equality, my ass. I'm getting sued. <laughs> it's gonna be a beautiful masterpiece painting. Sometimes I like to take a step back and just kinda watch the whole scheme of things and see it unfold. Let's do that right now. Let's go ahead and take a step back and just look at what we have here. The makings of a, a beautiful picture. Steven Crowder, eat your heart out. Mine are better. Change my mind. We're gonna fill in all this black unemployment. Just, just slather it all over the place. Lowest it's ever been, in fact. But again, we don't talk about that. Democrats don't like hearing that. Let's go ahead and go to this other side and do the exact same thing. Because no matter which way you look at it, it's dropping equal on both sides. There we go. Now we're going to move on to our final portion of this masterpiece. We're going to use red flag law red. You don't think I could let that slide, do you? Absolutely not. So let's go ahead and apply these red flag laws here, which might I add are just very unconstitutional. Essentially doing away with your Sixth Amendment right. No due process. Can't support that because it's unconstitutional. Oh, <gasps> good Lord. Did you, did you feel that? I felt a disturbance in the movement, almost as if thousands of conservatives screamed and then followed me at the same time because I spoke against God King Trump regarding the Second Amendment. Shall not be infringed. Intent and nature of law clearly states, shall not be infringed. What part of that don't you fuds understand? Maybe because you're not really constitutionalists. You're just loyalists, and he wears the crown. You're not for freedom. You're for tribalism. So there you go. This one's really gonna sting. Moving on. Let's just spread that red down there. Almost kind of reminds you like a, like an NRA red. Trump's violated more Second Amendment policies than Obama ever did, but NRA loves them some Trump. Okay. Now I bet a lot of you buckaroos out there are asking yourself a question. Well, golly gee willikers, John, which side are you on? I'll show you. Oh, there we go. Isn't she beautiful? A document crafted by our forefathers, so complex in nature, yet so simple. That's the side I'm on. And whoever lines up with that, I line up with them. When they don't align up with it, I don't align with them. On a single issue by issue basis, it doesn't have to be all or nothing. Thanks for watching, America. Oh, hey there. Yeah, it's, it's what you think. You didn't really think I did all that time in the Air Force and came out this mellow naturally, did you? No. 
so many of you wastes of life out there that should have been aborted with a hammer. You, you make me just want to. But don't forget, if you like the painting here, you can bid it on in the comments below. So it'll be on eBay. Appreciate supporting us and our message. Take care. I'm about to go blaze.